Well guys, we're just days away from the Z68 chipset launch from Intel. And if you aren't familiar with the Z68 chipset, basically this is going to be an upgrade from the P67 chipset, which they launched early in the year for Sandy Bridge. And the idea, what we've been told, is that this is going to offer better overclocks, we're going to have better features such as SSD caching. So today we've got a quick preview of a Gigabyte board. This is the Z68 UD4. And if you aren't familiar with Gigabyte's naming system, UD7 is the highest board in their range. UD4 is a bit lower down. UD7, of course, is the ultimate offering. Uh, more USB ports, serial ATA ports, higher-end features such as freeway SLI, Crossfire. Um, but what we do get with this board is probably going to be a better price-to-performance ratio. So if you're on a budget, this might well be a better option for you. And the idea of, with this is we're going to get multiple USB ports, uh, driver MOSFETs, um, we're going to get solid caps, ferrite chokes on the cores, uh, we're going to dual BIOS, we've obviously got touch BIOS with this, this is Gigabyte's own thing and we'll go into this in the review and show you all about that. But the big thing with ZEG68, in particular with the Gigabyte boards, is we have SSD caching and this covers all of the Z68 gigabyte boards. UD4, SSD caching, this is basically going to mean that the frequently used applications, programs that you're using are going to get stored. So there's going to be better performance. You're able to um, recall that data, recall that, um, you know, any of the files that you're using a lot quicker. It's going to be a lot more efficient. Uh, in the review that we actually do, we'll show you that all the performance gains that you can have on that and show you how it works and how to get it, get it going. Um, but as usual, what I'll do is I'll take you on a quick unbox, show you what's inside the box, the features, uh, accessories and things like that. Take you on a quick tour of the board. Obviously at this time, NDA sets in, so we're not able to go into the uh, performance overclocking, but that will come in the actual review that we post on Vortex.net. So keep a look out for that. Um, I'll drop the link in the description as soon as that is live, but I hope you enjoy the video anyway. Right then, on to our unbox. Here's the Z68 UD4. Very colourful box, really eye-catching. Lots of information on here. We've got uh, an overload, pretty much. You've got driver MOSFET, SLI ready, 16-phase power, loads of stuff. I'm not going to go through all of these uh, various standards and features. We'd be here till midnight, and I probably wouldn't be able to upload the video. It would be so big. So, let's get inside the box anyway, this is what we want to be, be doing. We've got the serial ATA cables here, we've got uh, four in total. We have SLI bridge for dual graphics cards. The manual and driver CD here with Norton Internet Security, Adobe Acrobat Reader, Easy Tune, various overclocking features on there, so you'd need that. Input output panel for the motherboard back panel. Another manual in some foreign language. Multilingual installation guide. This is another guidebook. And then we've got the warning paper to say that this does not take socket 1156 CPUs. So although they're quite similar, 1155, 1156. You know, just a bit of a warning there to stop you from installing that. And lastly, we've got the Gigabyte badge, which is nice. Stick that on your case. Anyway, let's go in for, take a good look at the board now, because we've got the unbox out of the way. It's time to take a close look at the actual board itself. Okay, so here's our Z68 UD4. And if you haven't already seen the Gigabyte board since Sandy Bridge launched, you're in for a big surprise. This is a really nice colour scheme. We've got the the black for uh, PCI Express and the, the the RAM slots and the, the heat sinks are also got the uh, the black colour scheme. What's well, grey? It's matte black, sort of greyish colour. Really nice. Um, they moved away from using blue, which they typically did. Um, to be honest with you, Asus and Gigabyte very similar when they used to use the blue boards. Uh, so it's good that Gigabyte are perhaps moving away from that and also, um, you know, with cases having a black interior, you're able to colour scheme things a lot better. 
obviously this is going to look really nice with a black interior on a case anyway let's go in for a closer look on the components we've got a 16 phase power design around the socket really nice heat sink design there this is similar to the p67 chipset similar heat sink design socket 1155 so we're able to take 1156 CPU coolers remember not the CPUs but the CPU coolers because the alignment for 1155 and 1156 they use the same mounting holes so we can use the same CPU coolers we've got 8 pin power for E80X DDR3 dim sockets there we've got a maximum of 32 gig and we can have 1066 all the way up to 2133 and this is also XMP ready. Taking a look at the storage there, we've got both 3G and 6G. So in the black color there, we've got four ports. They are 3G. And then the cream and gray, we've got four ports there. They are 6G. In regards to USB 2 functionality there, we've got a maximum of 14 ports, eight on the back panel. And then we've got a further six via these three headers on the motherboard at the bottom. We've also got USB 3 header, so if a case supports it, we can uh, connect the front panel USB 3 to the motherboard right here. Okay, then looking at the PCI Express, we might not have three-way SLI or Crossfire, but we can install SLI and Crossfire via two cards here. So the top slot will be 16 times, and then we've got eight times. But if we do use a dual graphics card configuration, the bandwidth will drop down to eight times. We've also got the one time slots, two of those, and we've got two PCI legacy ports as well. So finally, we'll look at the input output panel on the UD4. From left to right there, we've got USB 2 ports, PS2 keyboard mouse, SPDIF via optical and coaxial, 1394 IEEE, We've got eSATA in 6G. We've actually got uh, eSATA and USB combo as well. We've got USB 2 ports, more of those. USB 3. And uh, we've got Gigabit LAN, which is provided by Realtek 8111E. And finally, though, we've got the 6 channel audio, which is provided by Realtek ALC 889. And that comes with Dolby. Right guys, well that pretty much concludes our preview of the Gigabyte Z68 UD4. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen here today. This has obviously been very brief in terms of the specifications that we can give and any performance related results. We can't, I mean that's pretty much a no-no. Um, but over the next couple of days when the launch actually does happen, we'll have a full review on Vortez.net. We'll show you the gaming benchmarks, synthetic tests, report back on SSD caching, touch BIOS, and also we'll be putting a 2500K inside the socket there. And we'll be pushing it as far as we can, showing the overclocking ability on the UD4. So as usual, thanks very much for watching guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and we'll have more videos coming soon.